In the first part, you have read about pollution and aspects of different types of pollution. Know about air pollution, noise and water pollution, ETC. Sharing more information with you in the second part. Hope your one-stop cooperation will be with us. Thank you for your valuable time spending with us. Plastic pollution. Plastic is extremely durable, highly flexible and inexpensive to produce. Unfortunately, it is terribly detrimental to the environment. In fact, we use so much plastic that we send a shocking 12 million metric tons of plastic in the ocean each year. Once there, the plastic pollution breaks down into microplastics that find their way into fish, stomachs and bird nests, accumulating in the marine food chain. How can we prevent plastic pollution from destroying vulnerable marine ecosystems? This is a pressing problem for Norway, whose inhabitants have earned their livelihood from the sea since prehistoric times. That is why Norwegian companies and research institutions which have been leaders in the offshore shipping, fisheries and aquaculture industries for decades are investing major resources in fighting plastic pollution in the ocean, focusing on materials, ocean, cleaning technology, reuse, and changing the value chain. Norwegian companies have come far in developing solutions and technology that can help to combat plastic pollution and plastic in the ocean. Land pollution. Land can become polluted by household garbage and by industrial waste. Million tons of solid waste according to studies are in records. Environmental Protection Agency, a little over half of the waste 136 million tons was gathered in landfills. Only about 34% was recycled or composted. Organic material was the largest component of the garbage generated, the EPA said. Paper and paperboard accounted for more than 26% food was 15% and yard trimmings were 13%. Plastics comprised about 13% of the solid waste. While rubber, leather and textiles made up 9.5% and metals 9% would contributed to 6.2% of the garbage glass was 4.4% and other miscellaneous materials, made up about 3%. Commercial or industrial waste is a significant portion of solid waste. According to the University of Utah, industries use 4 million pounds of materials in order to provide the average American family with needed products for one year. Much of it is classified as non-hazardous, such as construction material, wood, concrete, bricks, glass, ETC, medical waste, bandages, surgical, gloves, surgical instruments, discarded needles, ETC. Hazardous waste is any liquid, solid or sludge waste that contain properties that are dangerous or potentially harmful to human health or the environment. Industries generate hazardous waste from mining, petroleum, refining, pesticide manufacturing, and other chemical production. Households generate hazardous waste as well, including paints and solvents, motor oil, fluorescent lights, aerosol cans, and ammunition. Light pollution most people can't imagine living without the modern convenience of electric lights. For the natural world, though, 
Lights have changed the way that days and nights work. Some consequences of light pollution. Some birds sing at unnatural hours in the presence of artificial light. Scientists have determined that long artificial days can affect migration schedules as they allow for longer feeding times. Streetlights can confuse newly hatched sea turtles that rely on starlight reflecting off the waves to guide them from the beach to the ocean. They often head in the wrong direction.